Thanks for joining us here at Functional Bliss, where Audra and Jessica will guide you through exercises and wellness techniques to help you live your best life every day. It's in the name after all, Functional Bliss. Before you do anything else, click like and subscribe and ring the bell so you'll know whenever we put up a new video. To join our Blissful Gang for live Zoom classes where you can get more direct suggestions and encouragement, go to our website and sign up. Check the class description below for any equipment needs, grab your gear, and let's get started. All right. Good morning and welcome to Weights for today. We are, in fact, just using some dumbbells. So grab a few dumbbells, some lights, some mediums, maybe a heavy if you've got it. And we're going to start warming up, moving a little through our bodies, making sure everything's awake before we try to pick up anything heavy. If everything's feeling good, maybe lift the heel, turn a little further, swing a little faster. And then bringing everything back to center. A nice big side bend. And then back to center again, coming into our forward reaches. And then bringing everything back in, coming into some nice big hip circles or small hip circles, whatever feels right in your hip. And then go the other way. And then bringing the feet in, back the hips forward and back. And then if it would feel good, maybe a few little circles one direction. And then the other direction. And then pedaling out the ankles. Rotating the wrists. And giving the fingers and the toes a good wiggle. Maybe squeeze them in and then them out nice and far and then we are ready to get started we're going to start with just one weight maybe one that's a little heavier maybe not except where you are this morning i'm actually going to start with my medium we're going to go into a nice wide sumo squat stir the pot and then come right back up squat stir the pot the other way and right back up and we're going to start with some good big motions to warm everything up one minute on the clock. Here we go. Now, how deep are you squatting here? That totally depends on your knees. I like to aim for right above my chair. <laughs> Take it into a sit Or if you don't have a chair, squat to wherever feels like you're getting good work in your body with no pain. 15 more seconds. Beautiful. And time. Nice. All right, from here, we're gonna do two weights. And again, slight to medium, we're gonna do a lunge with a curl. So I'm gonna grab my mediums again. We're just gonna do step forward and curl, and then do the other side. Nice and tight. One minute, here we go. How deep are you lunging? Again, totally depends on your body. 
Lunges can be very hard on the knees. Okay, guys. Steady and strong. Make sure you have your balance before you do that curl. Nice. All right. We are going to switch to our light weights from here. We're going to do. Holding them by our sides, coming out like a scarecrow, out into a T, lower them down, and come right back through. And really work our shoulders and our upper arms. Here we go. So, scarecrow, T, lower it down. Beautiful. Good control all the way through. Also a little through the upper back, the upper chest, the upper arms, really just toning up that whole area, making it nice and strong. All those muscles we'll need to get our Christmas decorations down out of the attic. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. I'm thinking about you guys here. I don't actually have an attic. They don't build RVs without it. Almost done. And time. All right. Up next, we are going to do a halo, which you guys have done plenty of times before. But we're going to add in a little side lunge. So starting in the center, we're going to step out to one side, do our halo, come back to center, step out to the other side, Go the other way with the halo. One minute. Here we go. To make sure that I'm remembering to switch sides, I'm going, my halo is going in the direction of whichever side I'm stepped out to. Otherwise, I would totally forget which side I was on and wind up doing them all in the same direction. Perfect. Trying to get that weight as close down by your neck as you can. Really working the triceps. And again, stepping out as far as feels right for you in that lunge. And time. All right, from here, we're gonna go into just a nice, full back fly. Go. Trying to keep a flat back. Tail tucked under just a little so you got that nice neutral spine. And then engage through your core. And of course, breathe the whole time. Looking good. Almost there. Yeah. 
And five. Beautiful. All right. Last one. We're going to do a standing bicycle crunch. So holding the weight up. And just lift one knee. Then the other. Push it in. Nice and steady. Here we go. Knee up as high as you reach. And time. Beautiful. All right, that is the end of our first set. Grab some water, two sets to go. All right, bringing it back in, grabbing whatever weight is right for you for squatting and stirring the pot. All right, one minute. Let's do it. Guys, halfway there already. Ten seconds to go. You can do it. Great. Grab that second weight. Get ready for your lunge with your curl. One minute on the clock. Here we go. Perfect. Remember, good control. have that chair for an assist, make sure that it's far enough out of the way that you're not going to bang your knuckles on it, because that doesn't feel good. Almost there. And time. Beautiful. All right. From here, getting ready for the halo with the side lunge. Go back down to one weight. Whatever one is right for you. And here we go. Stepping out. Bringing it around. Back and over the other way. Beautiful. Going at your own pace. That's the beautiful thing about just doing 
a minute of each exercise. If it's one that's super easy for you and you wanna do a few more, you can certainly move a little faster. If it's one where you're like, ooh, I need to really slow it down and watch my form, you can absolutely do that too. It is choose your own adventure. Five seconds to go. And time. All right, grabbing the lighter weights from here. Do the scarecrow with the feet. And here we go. and controlled all the way. Just technically, it's not a scarecrow because we don't drop our hands down in that position. I feel like those are fine details. We can call it a scarecrow to a seat. And you guys will get what I mean. 15 more seconds. Keep breathing. That's fine. Nice job. All right, up next we have our back fly. Coming into position. Two weights, one minute on the clock. Away we go. Neck and back in a straight line. Gazing down towards the floor. Soft bend in the elbows. You guys look fantastic. 20 seconds to go here. Our one weight again as we get ready for that bicycle crunch. Might go a little heavier on this one, might not. Up to you. Let's do it. Perfect. Really work the abs, add a little extra squeeze at the top. Beautiful. A little extra squeeze. Work the standing leg a little more too. Work the abs. Hip flexor. Perfect. Ten seconds to go. <laughs> Works the balance a little too. And time. Beautiful. All right, that is the end of our second round. Grab some more water. We still have one more. All right, bringing it in, getting ready for the squat with stir in the pot, and let's do it. Perfect. 
topic, go in both directions. Alternating each time. In addition to the low body with the squat, you're working through the back and the shoulders with that through the pot. I love these full body movements. seconds to go. And time. Beautiful. All right, up next we're doing the lunge plus the curl. Mix it up and lunge the other way this time. One minute on the clock. Here we go. Beautiful, looking good. Feel the strength in those legs when you're doing the lunge. Everything rooted down nice and strong and secure. Still breathing. Taking a moment maybe to appreciate that strength. Beautiful. And time. All right. I think I got him in the wrong order last time. I think the scarecrow's actually next. So grab the lightweight. And we'll do that. And I'll follow it up with the next one. One minute on the clock. more than just arms and shoulders. Looking good. Over halfway there already. that halo with the side lunge and go perfect I think only as wide as feels right and safe and comfortable. But sometimes just saying, well, whatever feels right can be a little amorphous. But goal here is no pain. So step out as far as you can to work and not anything. Ten seconds to go. Out nice and strong, whatever that means for you. Third set. It's okay to go down and wait if you want to. 
or finish it out at the same, either way. There we go. I always find that once I get in that nice bent position, I have to check in with my tailbone. It always wants to flex and act like it's trying to help. So it's really better to tuck it under a little. So if you're like me, check in with your tailbone. Try to maintain that nice neutral spine. Twenty seconds to go. Almost there. And five. All right, moving in. Last one. Let's do it. Maybe adding a little squeeze at the top. up through the belly. Having that little moment of balance. More than halfway there already. Good guys, 10 seconds to go. And time. And that is it, the end of our third set. Go ahead and clear your space, grab a little more water, and then we'll do our final stretch. into the center of your mat. Take a nice deep breath. Ah, letting everything settle just for a moment. And then inhaling arms up, holding over towards the floor. Letting everything hang for a moment. Taking a good breath here. And then bending the knees nice and big, roll them all the way up. And then shrug the shoulders up to the ears. And then roll them down and back. Arms up overhead. Reaching down this time towards the floor. And then walking the hands around to one side, coming into a little bit of a side body stretch in our fold. And then not staying too long here, walking right back to the middle. Big bend in the knees, rolling all the way up. And then shrug the shoulders up, rolling down and back. One more time, up overhead, holding forward. Walking the hands over to the other side this time. Pausing just for a moment, one breath. And then right back to center. Rolling up. Squeeze the shoulders all the way up to the ears and then melt them down and back. And then one arm comes up and across. Rolling that shoulder down away from the chin. Bringing in whatever type of movement might feel good in your head or your neck. For me today, I think just little gentle turns from side to side is where it's at. And then, coming 
back to center, release, go to the other side. And same thing, any movement that might feel good to your body. Side to side, up and down. Stick talking from one shoulder to the other. Up to you. And then back to center and release. Stepping out to one side and then to a little bit of a stretch through the inside leg. Leaning forward just until you feel that good stretch through the inside of the thigh. And then back through center over to the other side. Again, just until you feel that little stretch. And then back through center. One foot out in front. Leaning back, this time stretching through the back of the leg. And then coming right up the middle. And over to the other side. And then coming back up nice and tall. One more big breath in and out. And we are all done. Thank you guys for coming out today.